Welcome back to the trains, guys. Um, this is the last build episode. Yes, it's come very quick, hasn't it? We're going to start off on the uh, farm. So we're going to put the uh, a hedge around where the uh, the hill is there. We're going to take it all the way down to the road. And now we're going to put a road... Well, we're not going to use the same one. I don't want cars to go up it. We're going to use a track. Probably this one. And, yep, we're taking it right as close to the hedge as possible. And that'll go up to the farm. As usual, the road is uh, off the ground, so we have to lower it down a little bit. That noise is the uh, factory you can probably hear in the background. But I'll head to the other side. It's in the middle, so it doesn't have to be that particularly uh, high-level sort of uh, detailed hedge. Flat it off up here, so it's easier to actually put stuff on it. And now we're going to start... Uh, we'll move those bits out of the way, but we're going to start uh, putting the buildings... Uh, down. We're going to use traditional sort of uh, square in the middle, you know, where the uh, grounds are. Buildings around the around the edge. Very, very simple. It's not that hard. I tried to work out where the door was there, actually. Little farm building. I think about putting it next to it. Actually, I, was, I think that's the front door. I think I'll just change it around. Then we put that there, and we put this barn next to the other barn as well. Some uh, chicken coops, so we're going to use those shortly. So we're looking for a fence now, sort of to find where the... Um, the farmer uh, place is. Nice back garden. Now we need a fence for the chicken coop. Now it's got to be something that the actual chickens can't get out. So what I'm looking for is something with the uh, with a mesh or something like that. Yeah. It took me a while, but I uh, had to stop for a second so I can actually find a gate. It's the nearest thing I could find. Put a few chickens in there just to add... Uh, well, as it's a chicken coop, then probably a good idea to have some chickens in there. Colour it a little bit. Afterwards, we're going to move the chickens about a bit. Because at the moment, they're all facing the same direction. And that'd be quite weird if every chicken in the chicken coop was actually facing the same direction. I should put a fox in there. <laughs> so I found some concrete. I'm going to use that. We're going to put some dirt on top as well because it's going to be dirty, isn't it? It's not going to be clean if a farm. Just sat here just to merge it into the road. Nice and muddy. It's very simple, but I think it's quite effective. I'm trying to look for lawn here rather than anything else. Something slightly different. I don't really put anything in this garden. Maybe I, I will off camera. Now move all the bits and bobs back in again milk churns. Now what's going to be up this new dairy farm? Here we go. I, I had a look at that but it's so big and wild, unwieldy. I don't, don't want to make it that big. So I'll keep it just to a traditional farm I think. A gentle nod to the uh, milk churns the other side, the, uh, the dairy the other side. A couple of people. I did have a quick look to see if there's any other farmers, but I couldn't see any, so we give up on that one. Now, the fields. So I figured something could actually grow inside this uh, polytunnel. Uh, we're going to put three down. Once we've actually evened it off a bit. I 
At this point, I didn't notice I didn't even the other two off, but I'll do that later. I don't know exactly know what this this grass is, but it looks like it's been it's a field with something in it, so paint it. It's fine. Now at this point, I think I know I'm going to put the field this way round to match the other one, but we're going to come up with a tiny little problem with that in a second. Let's do a bit more grass before we do that. Move the trees about and uh, sort of define the areas. Now our little problem. Right. All I'm doing is lowering the grass right now. Not quite sure I did that, but uh, there you go, done. Cut it in a bit more. Now we do actually try to move the tractor. That was the problem. Don't think I've done it already, but maybe I did, and uh, it wouldn't move. I couldn't get it to uh, grass, so that's why uh, that's our little problem there. A few, I had a few little details into this hedge here. Yeah, it's it's still going to be seen a little bit from the uh, the track, especially that side. Here we go. So this is me trying to grab the tractor and failing dismally. So I take away the other bits which isn't needed. Another grab, no, still nothing. I tried grabbing around where I think the edges are. I try flattening it a bit, but no. So in the end I just give up and I put the uh, the field back that way. It's not a massive uh, problem. We'll put an edge around it as well. So I don't think fields ever got to the, uh, the hedge right in the corner. Tractors need somewhere to turn around. Well, this side's basically defined now. So we head over to the big house. Now I've moved it up onto the hill. I said I wasn't sure I was going to put it, and this is where and I've decided where. So we need a road going in. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Now I put the uh, gravel road in first, but. It, invisible so as you can see on the left hand side I chose a few things before I started but it didn't work so I, ch I chose this road instead need to flatten it down a little bit Add a couple of extra spline points in. Take away the hedge, move it back a bit, so we can get you get through. And up we go and round. A few more just points. No, I, I did put that on there, but obviously it doesn't work. It doesn't look right. Quite like this gate. It's actually too small for this type of house, but uh, I think it looks all right actually. Put a bit of hedging this side, and I'm gonna move those trees down to uh, that area as well. Here we go. They're actually connected, but they didn't look connected. But I prefer them like this, a little bit further apart. At this point, the gravel road decides to work again. I don't know why I selected it suddenly, but. Okay, we're going to take out the uh, road I just put in and we're going to change it with the gravel road. I didn't really like that road, if I'm honest. So the road's... The main road there's on a hill. That's why this side's higher than the other side. Unfortunately, you can't adjust the roads like that. So we have to flatten the uh, hill a little bit here. To be honest, I cheat. Put some gravel there instead. That's the go we're going to use up here. 
We we'll change the uh, direction of it a few times. So it doesn't look too you know too exact because otherwise you get those little lines everywhere. Changing the height again. The house is a bit strange otherwise. Move the road so it's a bit more round. I think a little bit more flattening will be needed here. Then we move it round. I think it looks better this way round. Now, as you can see on the left, I uh, put a few park hedges on there. I think it's a fairly good place to put them. So I think this decorates it quite well. It gives us sort of the uh, the idea of a big stately home. Now I do find some trees, not those ones, these ones, yes. We're going to put one either side. A little bit longer than that. We'll put some trees this side as well. But we have the uh, Rolls Royce. We've got to have the, the Rolls Royce uh, heading into the uh, house there, or parts of the house. Trying to make them symmetrical, the trees, so I'll move these across a little bit further. So everything we've done there, I've tried to make it sort of symmetrical. Now I'm looking for... I was looking for a path, but actually we, we start off with the uh, tennis court. Again, a lot of houses, big houses these days have tennis courts. Just adjusting the height a little bit so it fits in. Then we're going to put a hedge around the sides of it. I think I start with a wall, but it doesn't. I don't like the uh, look of it, to be honest. There we go. It's just get more realistic all the time. Getting more realistic all the time, rather. It's funny, a little bit of hedging and a little bit of painting and it looks so much better. Now I do try this path. Well, first of all, we put the path around the corners. Both sides down to there. Now I do move this path. Okay, we're going to leave it there for a second. We, uh, what else are we doing? We're putting the hedges back now. But the, that path in the middle, I tried taking that down to the bottom. It won't stay there though, it just doesn't look right. It's a bit long, I think, that path. I was thinking some flowers to put on it, some... But, in honesty, it's just the path is wrong. So I cut that bit off. And the last thing we do today... See, it's a very short episode, this, because most of it's done. It's something I said I was going to do last week. It's going to make this into a more wooded area. So we simply put more trees on. We mix it with high quality and low quality. It looks so much better now, see? A few more trees. Trying to add a, a few different ones and not just that everyone's the same. But that, the apple tree, no.
But that's pretty much it, guys. That is the end of the build for this series. Add the odd more, a couple more trees in. That's probably it. I might do a few things off camera, but certainly on camera, that's it. The next uh, episode will be our session episode, where we make the lot work. Hopefully, I don't think it looks too bad what we've done today. I haven't put an astonishing amount of detail in, but uh, I don't think it needs out there to be honest with you. Do I hear something? I do. Can I get it out? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Oh, I hate when it does that. You can't actually do it really slowly. That's not good camera work. Oh well. Such is life. So we've uh, finally put our mansion in. And I think that looks okay. This is basically the little village for the mansion. There's a lot of people standing there. And this train's not stopping. okay for what it is it's it's in the middle of the board i'm not trying to put massive amounts of details in i just want to fill the area and i figured a nice house there and a nice farm on the other side would do it i think that's fine overall the build i've quite enjoyed doing we have the uh, the quaint village at the top we have the factory area down here we've got a farm we've got some woods we've got some tunnels So it's, it's been a fair amount of stuff added into it. Next session, next episode, we will attempt to put the signals in, first of all. Um, I have no idea I'm going to do this. I don't know if I'm going to do it the quick build way like I do normally, or if I'm going to try and do it real time. Uh, this, I imagine the signals I do is quick build. There's no point doing those slowly. The session bits, show them how they're, how I, how I do them. Maybe I'll do them real time. We're going to also add uh, cameras in. You're able to add uh, camera locations in. So if you're viewing a train, it will do it from those lo locations. So it looks nice if you do it like this. So we'll add those in the next session as well. And hopefully by the end of next episode, it'll be fully working. <laughs> I, I laugh at that because I'm not sure. And uh, it will be done. So we can get, actually get down here again. So even though I'm pressing the shift, it goes fast. I swear it's not meant to do that. That's it, we wait here. But I think that's the end of the episode, guys. Sorry about this, it's a very short one, but it just wasn't made much to do today. But uh, I assume next episode will be a bit far, uh, a bit longer when we're doing the session, and I'll be bleeping out the cursing I'm doing in the background because uh, it's not working. I make it too obvious I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> Okay, guys, cheers. Uh, thanks very much for watching. If you liked it, do press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Um, and if you press the, press the uh, bell button, it even tell you when I put stuff on. So <laughs> thanks once more. Cheers. Bye-bye.